Hello everyone, this is Gene. I'm back with another video. This is sort of spur of the moment, and you can tell it's so spur of the moment that I'm outside. So, I'm here in Queens, I'm in Long Island City, Queens, and I am right by, literally across the street from, LaGuardia Community College, which is a college I was a student at between the years of 2005 to 2007. Now, why does this matter? Why does the fact that I'm a former student here, why does the fact that I'm an alumnus matter in this instance? It matters because twice now this year I've had to come up here to get a weekly COVID test. Right? CUNY, the City University of New York, demands that if you are an employee, which I am, that you either have to uh, get the vaccines right and submit proof of them through a system called q first or or you have the option of testing now cuny demands that you test only at a cuny school and laguardia especially when i'm on vacation and i'm not really traveling is the closest one to me so that's why i came here and for the second time now so i had to do this back in august when cuny uh, instituted their uh, policies, right? They said you had to either have the vaccines and upload the information to you first, or if you didn't, if you didn't want to share that information, you're unvaxxed, right? You have to go get weekly testing. I opt for the weekly testing because I'm not going to take a vaccine that the media tries to aggressively force on me and does not address any of my concerns about it, like, you know, possible blood clots or mitocarditis or other issues that some people have had when getting the COVID vaccine. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, it's just that for me, at this particular point in time, I don't think it's a safe option for me. This is not me telling anyone else what to do. But anyway, I come up here and they have signs on the doors now for the vaxxed and the unvaxxed, right? For the privileged class, and the, uh, I guess you could say the, the unwashed masses, right, the unvaxxed. So I go through the unvaxxed door, and I run into a security guard, Indian man, looks a little older. And I ask him, because I've already been through this once, so I ask him nicely, if I can go through, if I can go through the E-building, right? Because you go and go through the M building and then it leads you right to the E building. Because I know where the testing center is. And the building's layout hasn't changed all that much since I was here. So I know my way around. I know that you can just go through the E building, go past the library, go past the poolside cafeteria. And you're in the back of the M building. And you can go to the testing site. It's very easy. So the security guard says no. It's CUNY policy that I have to leave the building and go and walk all the way around the building onto Van Damme. I literally have to go use the back door. I have to literally go use the back door to go to the testing site. Not because that's the only way to get there. Not because that's the only way to access that part of the building no matter what. But because I'm unvaccinated. But because I made a choice for my health and for my physical safety, I now get treated like a pariah and have to walk through the back door. I remember when this happened in like the 30s and the 40s. I thought we, we agreed that this was not permissible anymore. So now we have discriminatory practices by, by a CUNY school, right? We have discriminatory practices by a CUNY school because of vaccination status, right? Because if I was vaxxed, he wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have said. And again, I've been through this twice now, right? So I've had a security guard stop me when I ask, can I just go, go through the e-building? I know where the testing site is. I've been here before. I was a student here, right? No, because you're unvaccinated and because it's CUNY's policies, you have to leave the building and go toward the back. Remember when people used to make poorer people or people of certain 
ethnic backgrounds go through a corridor because it can't be seen going through the school, going through the through the building, right? It's a nice building. It can't be seen using the front entrance. So let them go through the back. That's effectively what's happening here. Now, I want to be clear. This doesn't happen at other CUNY schools. I usually test at my own workplace, and they don't treat me like, like that, for which I'm thankful. But I know of at least one CUNY school that does treat the unvaccinated like this, at least in this regard. I can only imagine what it's like for unvaccinated employees here at LaGuardia who have to deal with this on a regular basis. I only have to deal with it when I have to test and I happen to be at home and this is the closest place. But otherwise I have to travel all the way out to a different borough to go to my regular work site. So this is a matter of convenience, but it's still, in my opinion, discriminatory. And they hide behind CUNY policy, CUNY policy. CUNY needs to revise its policy then, in my opinion. Chancellor Matos Rod Rodriguez, please, if this reaches the chancellor, please, chancellor, reconsider this at least for LaGuardia. If you have to have the testing, if you have to do the testing, I don't agree with the testing, personally, I don't. But if this is what the university has to do so that it's in compliance with the mayor and the governor and all this other stuff, if this is what has to be done, then please, at the very least, make sure that employees, whether they work at the school, or they work at a different school, or they're former alumnus, like, rather they are alumnus, I should say, like myself, former students, right? That they, they aren't made to feel discriminated against all because of a decision they made in regards to their own health. If you'll respect the decision of people to get vaccinated, because the media argues, right? Politicians argue, media argues, right? right they all say that it's the best thing for your health. It's the best thing for, for your health and everybody else's health, so you should get vaccinated. So if you'll respect their decisions for their health, then please respect my decisions for my health, right? And respect the decisions of others like me, I'm not the only unvaccinated employee in, in CUNY. And respect their decisions for their health, right? That's all I'm asking. Please do not discriminate against unvaccinated people. That's all I'm asking for, right? As much as I don't like testing, it's better than, than being forced to get the vaccine no matter what, like students are. But if you have to, if you have to do this for the testing, maybe don't make unvaccinated people walk through a corridor, right? Or, or simulate that experience, right? Maybe not do that. Maybe not make people who are already going through a lot, right? Make them feel like they are being discriminated against against the very university system they were a student in, got their education in, got their degree in and currently have worked for. I have been a part of CUNY. I've been a student or an employee since the year 2005. We're going into 2022. I'm not asking for any sort of special treatment. All I'm asking for is fair treatment. Don't discriminate against me because I'm unvaccinated. Don't discriminate against other than vaccinated. Don't discriminate against the vaccinated. Don't discriminate against anybody. Don't make something that's already a strain on people for various reasons harder than it needs to be. Right? So, anyway, that's the video. You know, comment or whatever if you want to. But yeah, that's been my experience this Wednesday so far. How about you? How about you? So anyway, I'll see y'all around.